Hi, my name is Jamie Swartz. I'm a collections assistant here at the International Quilt Museum. We have a practice here called Integrated Pest Management where once a month we check traps that are carefully placed in strategic areas around the museum to see what is coming into the museum. A lot of the time they're really benign pests, carpet beetles and case making clothes moths are the only two things that we keep an eye out for. They can cause harm. And if you've ever had a sweater hanging in your closet, pulled it out and there's a big hole in it, those are the kinds of pests that we look for. Make sure that we don't have any here. They are a huge threat to the collection. We have a lot of quilts that are made out of wool. And this is just one of the ways in which we protect and preserve the collection for future generations. While we never want real moths around quilts or textiles, you can make your own webby. Named for the webbing clothes moth, this one has learned to make its cocoons out of recycled materials instead. All you will need for this activity is some paper, a toilet paper tube, scissors, your preferred coloring implement, and some glue. You can also use stickers, ribbon, craft paper, or any other materials you have around. You can even use a paper towel tube by cutting it in half. Start by cutting out the wings for your moth. We have provided a template for you to print out if that helps. Otherwise, you can fold a piece of paper in half and cut your design out. It's kind of like cutting a shape of a heart, only you leave more space down at the bottom so that you'll have room to attach your toilet paper tube, which is the body of the moth. Now is a good time to decorate your wings. You can use crayons, colored pencils, or markers. You can also use decorative paper or stickers. Once we have made the wings the way you like, attach the toilet paper tube with some glue. After the glue has dried, go ahead and add a face to your moth. Give your moth some flight with a little bit of ribbon. And there you have it, meet Webby. For more tips on how to protect your quilts and textiles from pests like moths, visit internationalquiltmuseum.org slash collections. Under Conservation, click on See Our Process. On the bottom of the page, click on the tab that says At Home Care. We hope you enjoyed learning more about our integrated pest management system and how to make your own webby. Happy National Quilting Day!